Hi, and welcome to Futures Discovery on John Lothian News. I'm your host, Cortez Draper, and on this program, we'll embark on the fascinating world of futures and learn from top professionals in the field. Today, we're diving into the intricate world of spoofing, a topic that can profoundly impact the integrity of your futures trading journey. Spoofing is a manipulative strategy where traders place fake orders to create a misleading impression of market demand and supply. These orders are intended to deceive other market participants, tricking them into making trading decisions based on false information. In the realm of futures trading, spoofing stands out as a disruptive force. It's a fraudulent activity that distorts market data, leading to false price movements and an unfair trading environment. Spoofing not only complicates trading, but it also diminishes market liquidity. This results in a wider bid to ask spread and compromised price discovery, making it harder for traders to determine the true value of an asset. Moreover, spoofing increases the risk for clearinghouses. This deceptive practice creates unpredictable market behavior, making it challenging to manage and mitigate risk effectively. For hedgers, spoofing becomes a significant obstacle. It distorts market conditions they rely on to make informed decisions about entering or exiting a position. Essentially, spoofing disrupts the cohesive force that holds futures markets together, threatening its operation and efficiency. But the consequences of spoofing don't end with market disruption. Spoofing is a federal crime with severe penalties. Traders caught engaging in spoofing face up to 10 years in prison and fines up to $1 million per violation. These legal repercussions highlight the seriousness of maintaining market integrity it's crucial for the dynamics of futures trading that we uphold a fair and transparent trading environment. Market integrity ensures that price reflects true supply and demand, fostering trust among market participants. Without it, the futures market would struggle to function effectively, harming everyone from individual traders to large institutions. So what can we do to combat spoofing? Market regulators and exchanges are continuously enhancing their surveillance and enforcement measures to detect and deter spoofing activities. It's also important for traders to stay informed and vigilant reporting any suspicious activities they encounter. And there you have it, a quick overview of spoofing and the multitude of reasons not to do it. Now remember, this is just scratching the surface. To gain deeper insights, let's talk to Ronaldo Mariotti, current partner at Paul Hasten who brings a wealth of experience in the legal industry. For our interview and full episodes, visit johnlothiannews.com.